Hi everybody, Joey here again and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about how to paint your aquarium. I get this, I get questions uh, a lot on how to paint your aquarium based on the fact that they, a lot of people don't know which type of paint to use, how to apply it, or what's safe and what's not. So we're going to go over that in this video. We're also going to talk about how to remove paint from an already painted aquarium. So let's get started. Okay, so we're now ready to paint the aquarium. A number of things you want to consider first is which color are you choosing? I like to pick solid colors that are pretty dull. And what I mean by dull is not orange, green, things like that. I like to use either black or blue. Reason being is because most fish look best on those two colors. On this tank, I'm choosing a light blue. This is going to enable me to keep my fish that I'm going to be keeping in this tank nice and light in color. I, want, I don't want them to darken up and you'll see why after you see the fish that I'm putting in this tank. Now, if you want your fish to color up, I suggest using a darker color like black or dark blue. Those are just some things to consider when choosing the color. The safest color to go with is typically black. It looks really good and if you're taking pictures of your aquarium, it really makes your, fish, your fish's colors pop. Now, before we get started with looking at the supplies we're going to need, let's first prepare the tank. You're going to need to clean the tank glass. Make sure that it's nice and clean. If you're using an acrylic tank, do the same thing, but don't use any chemicals. Just some nice warm water and a cloth is typically good enough. Once you've done that, make sure the aquarium's dry and we can move on to the supplies. So let's take a look at the supplies and what we're going to be using now. Okay, so the supplies we're going to be using are really simple. I like to keep things cheap, you know, uh, simply because I might change my color on the paint, so I'm not looking to go crazy. I'm also not a, a professional painter, so I like to buy cheap paint brushes. In the end, for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter. So I go to my local dollar store, or you know, maybe you call it a buck or two, or whatever your cheap place is, and I like to simply pick up their dollar menu uh, paint rollers. We're looking to get paint. Uh, I'm sorry, sponge rollers. And it comes with a little dandy, uh, you know, paint tray as well. The reason why we're doing sponge rollers is simple. If you use a paint brush or a sponge brush, it tends to drag the paint across the glass and you don't get as good as coverage. You tend to have to use more paint just to cover the glass. With a sponge roller, it typically, typically gets you a, a lot more coverage and goes on a lot easier. You also need to do less coats. As for the actual paint, this is going to be a big one for a lot of people. For the most part, any paint is going to be fine based on the fact uh, that the paint's not actually going into the aquarium. If you are painting your tank with fish already in it, make sure the aquarium's covered tightly because the fumes might bother them. So now that we know that the paint isn't actually going to be into the aquarium and there's really no way that it can get in there, you still need to be cautious because of course you never know. So I like to use uh, an all-purpose acrylic paint. I use this for a number of reasons. One, it's cheap. Uh, two, it's completely safe. It's non-toxic. That doesn't mean I can go ahead and dump it into the tank as an additive, but simply gives you a little bit more peace of mind. Final reason is that it goes on nice and it comes off easy. You're going to see how easy it comes off at the end of the video. It's safe for both glass and acrylic. If I could give you a suggestion on paint not to use, stay away from oil-based paints. You kind of want to stick with water-based paints and, um, you know, non-toxic paints. And this is uh, non-toxic. It's a water-based acrylic paint. Look for something like that. Where can you pick up this exact paint? I don't know. Uh, it's basically, it's called Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Paint. I use it for all my tanks. It costs a dollar per tube. A dollar will, or a tube of this, which is 100 milliliters, will probably do, uh, let me see, let me guess here, probably 12 square feet of, uh, of aquarium glass. Um, so I'm probably going to need maybe two, three tubes of this based on the fact that I'm doing the bottom, the back, and the two sides. This is going to be a quarantine tank, so I'd like to shelter it in as much as I can. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with painting it. Okay, so I'm ready to get started on painting. 
One little thing that you might want to consider before you do start painting is getting some painter's tape and taping off all of your trim so you don't get paint on it. It can make a real mess and make it look bad. In the end, you could probably take it off, but it's a hassle and it's much easier to simply lay down some painter's tape. I'm just doing the bottom right now, so it doesn't really matter if I have painter's tape or not. So, basically I got the, the paint ready. You see it's really nice blue. Uh, I really like this color, especially for the fish that are going in this tank. They're going to look really nice against it. So uh, we're just painting it like you would paint a wall. We're not looking to gop it on. We're just doing a little bit of paint on the, uh, the foam roller at a time. Uh, typically speaking, you want to start at one end and work your way over and try to do all in the same motion. You don't want to be really be going up and down and all over the place. Um, not on your first coat. First coat go one way, second coat go the next way. I don't know if I'm going to need to do two coats. We're going to see after we put this on. Uh, I might end up doing two, maybe three coats. You'll know when you see it. So let's just uh, see how it goes on here. Downside about using sponge rollers, uh, cheap sponge rollers, is that they tend to not be perfectly round. So they're going to jump all over the place and sometimes drag the paint. So to save yourself that hassle, invest in some nicer sponges. These are typically a little bit better. I'll probably end up using these for them. But for now, I've already got paint on this, so I'll go ahead and finish it off. This is typically a lot faster as well than using a, um, any other t form of paint, uh, paint brushes. The sponge roller goes on really quickly. Anyways, guys, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to do the bottoms, the sides, then we'll come back and have a look and see how it looks. So that's it, tank's done painted. Uh, so I, I actually did overestimate exactly how much paint I would need. I ended up only needing two tubes of paint. Let me do the bottom, the two sides, as well as the back of the tank. <clears throat> now, you might be wondering why are you even painting your tank? Well honestly, it comes down to personal taste and choice. I actually prefer the look of a painted tank based on the fact that you know, most paper backgrounds don't look that great on a tank. Unless you get into, you know, uh, using some uh, sea view to apply your background or something like that. You know, they just don't look good. I like this because, it, you know, it's, it's easy to manage. I can change it whenever I want. It makes the fish look great. And it's really cheap. Because I only use two tubes of paint, it only cost me two bucks. Another dollar for the paint rollers. So it cost me $3 to paint this. Based on that, we can estimate that it's going to cost me about $3 every time I want to change it too. It's going to take a little bit of work to change it, but it can be done. It can be done cheaply. Anyways, now that we've seen how to do it, let's find out how to take it off. Okay, so now that we know how to paint the aquarium, it's time we find out how to take the paint off of an already painted aquarium. Not a lot of people want their aquariums painted, and if you ever buy a second-hand aquarium, sometimes they just simply come painted already. Perhaps you want to switch the color as well. Switching the color of your aquarium is going to be pretty simple. All you're really going to need is a vacuum for the paint that you're going to be scraping off, obviously. You're also going to need a straight edge razor. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to find. I also like to use a handheld scraper that the razor blade goes into simple as that. All it really is going to help me do is scrape the, the paint off of the aquarium. And it should come off really simply. So starting almost anywhere, look how easy that comes off. Keep in mind, I'm still using the same type of paint that I'm taking off that I put on. I'm using more acrylic paint. It comes off and goes on so easily. Downside to it is that if you ever scrape it, which it scrapes pretty easily as well, you're going to have to touch it up. But it's not an issue. The plus side is that it comes off really easily if you ever want to change it. So basically guys, that's it. If you have any more questions, comments, or anything like that, comment in the section below. Anyways, we'll see you next time, and thank you for watching.